Wait, excuse me. We do not need to watch this. Why not? We already know this stuff. You do? Yeah. We're not stupid. I think we know how to walk. See? All right. Dazzle me with what you already know. Walk on the sidewalk, not the street. Unless... There's not a sidewalk. Then walk on the side of the street. And walk facing traffic so the cars can see you better and you can see them. Because? It's safer if you can see them, and you can get out of their way if you have to. What else? Don't push and shove when you're walking in a group. Because you might accidentally shove someone into the street. Or they might shove you. And you might get hit by a car. OK, that's pretty good. Told you. So you three could walk safely anywhere. Yeah. yeah. What about here? Sure. What's so hard about this? Come on. We can't go now. Yes, we can. It's a green light. Come on. We don't have time before it changes. Yes, we do. Come on. Told you. It's not my fault. I can't help it if the light changed. Actually, you can. But you have to pay attention to the walk signal and make the right decision. Let's try it again. You have a major intersection here and a lot of lanes to cross to get over there. And that flashing hand is not an applause sign. It means stay where you are, don't start now. So, what do you do? Wait. Until? It says you can go. Duh. And when it looks like this, you go? Yes. No. Look both ways and make sure nobody's trying to make a last minute turn or something. Right. Even when you see the walking guy, make sure no cars are coming before you start across. Look left, then right, then left again just to make sure. Look in front of you and behind you because cars could be coming that way too. When you're sure no one's coming, then you start across. And you run across as fast as you can before it changes. No, you don't run across. You walk. Running's faster. But when you run, you're not as careful. You're not paying attention. So don't do that. Just walk straight across at a nice, steady pace. OK, fine. We made it across, and we didn't die. Are we done now? Nope, not yet. That was a pretty easy one. You had a signal to tell you when to cross. Let's see how you do without one. Can you cross here? No, it's too busy. Right. There's a lot of traffic both ways, and it doesn't look like it'll ease up enough for you to cross. And it's hard to see with all the bushes in the way. So, what do you do? Keep walking till we find a better spot. How about here? Yeah, this looks OK. You can see cars and they can see you. That's important. So, show me what you do. Left, right, left. Nobody's coming. Walk across. There's nothing hard about this. Then let's make it a little bit harder. Now try it. Is it clear down there? What? Is a car coming? What? Earbuds are great when you want to listen to music, but not on a walk. When you're out on a walk, you need to hear what is happening around you. So, take the earbuds out. Now. What do you do about the cars parked in the street? Step out to here and then look for traffic. Yes. You have to get far enough out so you can see cars and the drivers can see you. And then? When it's clear, walk across. Thank you. And keep looking for cars while we cross. Excellent. You guys do know what you're doing. So we're done, right? Not yet. Let's go back to those earbuds. Music, cell phones, texting. Sorry. Even just talking a lot in a group, these are all distractions. They're fun, but they also take your attention away from what you're doing. And when you're near traffic, you have to pay attention. Otherwise, you could walk in front of a car by mistake and maybe get seriously hurt. So no texting while we're walking? Right, get rid of distractions. That's really important. Okay, what else? Wear bright colors. Oh, right, because otherwise we're invisible. No, but you're harder to see. Drivers have a lot to focus on, so make it easier for them by wearing bright, reflective clothing, especially when it gets dark. That was cool. Thank you. Now, one last thing. What? Remember when you were younger, you always had to walk with someone older? Well, now you're the one who's older. And if you have a little brother or sister, you could walk with them. Help them cross the street. Show them some of the things you know. Yeah, I could do that. I have a little sister. Me too. Fine, I'll take my brother for a walk. But he better do what I say. Good. So, guess what? What? We're all done. Walk safely.